Hello fellow fragrance lovers, I have another huge unboxing today from Notino, a place that's becoming quite a favorite of mine uh, to buy from. So I have several perfumes that I ordered from the Grey line, so I hope you sit back and enjoy. So we're going to start off with unboxing them and then we'll do a first impressions. So I have these perfumes and we're just going to try them out and uh, see how we get on with these. So I thought I'd just give you a brief uh, <laughs> history as to why I ended up getting uh, this one. Uh, so number one, uh, notes from Josephine mentioned it on her channel and she had lovely things to say about it. Number two, I have at least four other Rihanna perfumes and they have been gorgeous. I have loved them. I kind of feel like so far I've had a good streak with Rihanna perfumes. Uh, number three, I really like the color of the juice. It's this light bluey color. So I'm looking at it, I'm thinking spring, I'm thinking summer, I'm thinking aquatic. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to add this to my collection for the price point as well. That's kind of like the price point that I like to hang around. Okay, so with this one, the top notes are supposed to be plum, frisia, and neroli. The middle notes are gardenia, peony, and orange blossom. I am partial to orange blossom. I love orange blossom in, in a fragrance. It's just so lovely and fresh and vibrant, but also lovely and soft and sensual. The base notes are cashmere wood, ambergris, vanilla, and cedar. Yeah, I think so. We're going to try this out and see what this is going to be like. So the bottle is, it's all right. I think it's, it's fine. And I'll let's see if the atomizer performs really well. Oh, hello. Oh, I got some alcohol. Gah. <laughs> that uh, pinched my nose there. Okay, let it breathe for a bit. Mmm. <laughs> safe. That's the first word that I think of safe, but in a good way. I think that it's quite inoffensive. It's fruity. It's floral. I'm getting the neroli and the orange blossom are coming through. It's beautifully light and subtle. I'm picturing, I'm picturing islands, sand, sea. Do you know, this is the first perfume that's actually made me feel like I want to wear a bikini and just fire it all over me. <laughs> I think I like it. I can see myself wearing this every day in summer, like just like as a day uh, wear thing in summer. Got a little helper <laughs> over here. It definitely, for me, it's got the aquatic vibe going, but it's also quite sweet as well. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Um, kiss by Rihanna. 
Okay, so this one is called uh, Jules Vienne by Santini Cosmetics. Now, the only reason I bought this was because they had a special offer on Notino, whereby if you bought this fragrance, you got free delivery, free postage and packaging. And normally their delivery is uh, £3.99, which is £4. And this one was uh, £7. I think, or it was six pounds fifty. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to buy the fragrance and get the free PMP instead. So yeah, that's how it worked out. Um, it the bottle is really cheap. You can tell that the print is is sort of like coming off, and it feels like if you scratch it, it, it will uh, come off. Uh, but yeah, let me just okay. So I just thought that the worst that could happen is I'd be able to use this as air freshener if it doesn't work out. Oh, the atomizer is terrible. I didn't um, feel like the atomizer worked really well there. Bug spray. Citronella, citronella bug spray. I remember, I'm reminded of when we were camping in Italy by Lake Maggiore and uh, there was just so many mosquitoes. We ended up having to buy loads of citronella, loads of bug spray, and loads of these little bands that are supposed to be mosquito repellent. Got some in my mouth. And yeah, that's what I'm getting <laughs> from this. This was the price for free postage and packaging. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll probably use this as a toilet air freshener or something like that. Okay. Um, okay, so the next one that we have is Grey Cabochon, which I bought because I really liked the Grey Gold, which I bought about a month ago, and I love it so much. It's a beautiful, uh, full-bodied uh, fragrance that makes me feel like such a lady, and it's such an uplifting fragrance, and my husband really loved it. So I thought I would try um, this one because the Grey Gold is a... Eau de Toilette, so it doesn't last as long in, on me, it probably lasts about five hours or so. And I read about this, which is supposed to be the classic grey um, fragrance, and it's an uh, EDP, it was reasonably priced. And so, I thought that I would try this, this is supposed to be a leather fragrance, so this is my first time uh, with a le leather fragrance. It also has aldehydes in the top notes. I haven't come across aldehydes yet, so I have no idea what to expect uh, from that. And in terms of the base notes, it's also got tobacco, which I really like um, in a fragrance. So far, the tobacco fragrances that I have tried, I've absolutely loved them. It also has sage in the top notes, which had me a little bit worried initially, but my experience with Stash, um, as Sarah Jessica Parker, that's got sage in it, but it was beautiful. So I'm just going to try this out. And I know that this is considered old fashioned, but for me, because I'm new to perfumes, I don't see a lot of these perfumes as old fashioned because I smelled them in the 80s or the 90s or the 90s. Everything is still new to me. So I'm quite excited to try this. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna spray that. Ooh, nice atomizer, really good control on that. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty sharp. <laughs> Quite unique, quite different. I mean, for the price range. Uh, normally, I've been into fruity florals or gourmands, but this is lovely. This does not smell sweet at all. I'm getting the spices. I think I now know what aldehydes smell like. This is like this clean. Uh, freshiness to them almost like a really nice detergent like a really nice laundry detergent mm, mm -hmm. those middle notes are beginning to come through so I'm getting a very relaxed feel a little bit of rose I can definitely get why this is a leather sheep <laughs> 
but yeah I, I i could get down with this i could get down with this i think i would probably wear this if i was going to like a serious meeting and i wanted to be very chic um but approachable but at the same time not be girly because uh, I've tended to like more girlier fragrances, but this one definitely, th this doesn't smell girly girly. This is, this is very much, I'm a woman. I, I am here as a woman and I am a serious woman and I am very chic and I am very elegant. Like, I don't think I could wear this with my hair down. I feel like I'd always have my hair pinned up. But yeah, I like it. I also think that the bottle is really cute with the frosted thing. I will report back on a sillage and longevity and performance. But yeah, great addition. So, I went down a grey rabbit hole. And I also decided to get the Madame Grey. This was on a special offer. So I think I got this for like about £11. Which was pretty awesome. So let's try this. So this lovely tall bottle here, this tall, elegant looking bottle is Madame Gré by Gré and it's an Eau de Parfum, so it's supposed to be nice and strong. So what attracted me to this is it's got pineapple as a top note and I love pineapple. It's also got cardamom. I love cardamom. I use cardamom a lot in my cooking and preserving and it's also got grapefruit. So I'm expecting some freshness in that opening uh, burst of uh, fragrance when you first smell it. And for the middle notes, it's got uh, freesia, peony and magnolia. Uh, so far, my experiences with freesia in perfumes has been quite lovely. It seems to just lift them up to something i can i never am able to pick out peony i can never pick out peony um yeah magnolia has been okay uh the base notes it's uh three of my favorite vanilla patchouli and sandalwood i like those in so some of the perfumes that are my favorite perfumes they've got that but this one's also got leather so i'm kind of familiar with the leather from here so we're gonna see how this smells Okay, it's got the same sharpness at the bottle as the cut, let's see. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is sweet, this is sweet flowers. And like say the, um, the kabocha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, this is more the territory that I kind of hang out in, that I'm sort of used to. Pineapple is strong. Definitely getting that strong pineapple. You know, the pineapple that's just a little bit too ripe and it's soft and squeegee and it's got some brown spots on it. That's there. I'm not getting any grapefruit. I'm not getting that sourness that I expect from grapefruit. So for me, cardamom should have like a, a certain warm earthiness to it with an orangey vibe, but I'm kind of not getting it. The pineapple is really, really strong, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's quite nice to actually buy the perfume and actually get the note that I was expecting. Mm. Sandalwood and vanilla are also coming through. Okay, the, uh, the leather is right at the bottom for me. So I feel like sandalwood, vanilla, then leather. I'm not getting the patchouli so much now, but with me, patchouli tends to really come out a few hours later on my skin. So yeah, no, this, this is good. So I can see myself wearing this even, say, like if I'm going um going on date night with my husband like this could work um for that i'm not sure i I'd, I'd use this for winter though i sort of feel like maybe for fall possibly spring time as well because of the pineapple but it's not so light that i feel like this is a summer fragrance for me i'm not going like oh summer so the pineapple is definitely strong so some of the woodiness is beginning to come through. But yeah, it's, it's lovely and it's elegant. I'll definitely be wearing this in spring. I feel like this could work definitely um, in spring. 
lovely addition. I also really like the bottle. I think that the bottle has got some very art deco -y vibes to it. So it's a vintage stuff. Okay. Um, and so I also ordered Ca um, Cabodine de Grey Eau de Toilette, and it's green, of which my kids have called this the broccoli top thing when they've seen me browsing, looking at perfumes. Uh, so I think that this is the uh, sister or flanker to the grey gold that I have. So because it's green, I'm expecting this to have um, very earthy, herbal, aromatic kind of uh, fragrance to it. So this is my first green one, actually. So let's have a look. Oh, I love how this bottle feels in my hands. It's got such a it's just got such a lovely shape that you can get a nice grip of and use it just like that. It's a really beautiful bottle design. All right, let's... Ooh, very sharp. I'm getting some powder, some powdery underneath, underneath the aromas at the top. Herbs. What hell herbs am I getting? So... This is very, it's very green, very herbally, I would say. The top notes are supposed to be coriander, orange blossom, blackcurrant, cassia plum, tangerine, and peach. I honestly can't say that I'm getting any peach um, at all here. Uh, the middle notes are tuberose, uh, hyacinth, carnation, ginger, jasmine, ylang, ylang, frisia, rose, iris, heliotrope, and violet. I'm getting hyacinth, definitely. The hyacinth is what's popping out the most at me and a little bit of carnation. So floral, I'm getting a lot of florals. Just a hint of ginger, just a hint. The base notes are vetiver, civet, blackcurrant musk, sandalwood, amber, cedar, again, tonka bean, vanilla. not getting any vanilla. I mean, it's got a lot going on for it to say it's an eau de toilette. I'm quite keen to try this on my skin and see which of these note profiles are going to work better with my skin and what my skin is going to retain and amplify. And all. Um, I hope it's not the tuberose because sometimes I do find tuberose is just too, 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 too sweet you know, for me. But this has got a lovely warmth to it. I'm quite grounded. I can definitely see myself wearing this in spring. Um, yeah, wearing this in spring. What sort of outfit would I wear with this? I don't know, probably if I'm wearing a separate, like, um, I don't know, like a, a skirt and a simple t-shirt top with a cardigan over the top. Yeah. So that's uh, great. So out of the three gray ones that I got. I definitely liked this a lot better, but that's because I tend towards fruity florals and this has a strong pineapple note that I picked up as a top note. Although I know that when I actually wear it on my skin, it's very unlikely that the pineapple is going to stay on there given that it is a top note. But I liked um, what I smelled with this one. Uh, this one is probably the second best, uh, very close second, but yeah, lovely lovely collection so i don't think i'm going to be buying any more perfume for a while now this is probably going to be my last haul for a bit so that i can actually get to terms with the perfumes that i have although actually no i do need some summer perfume so <laughs> forget it anyway thank you so much for watching um please subscribe and i will see you in my next video with more perfuming madness oh by the way my scent of the day today is mongolian intense uh, it's been on me for about seven hours now, and it's just like at this very creamy, sultry stage. I just, I love it. Each time I'm just catching a, a, a waft of it as I'm walking around, I just have this smile on my face. And I don't, what I like about Mongolian Intense is that it lasts so long on me. I don't, I don't have to constantly put my nose to wrist to get it. It's still wafting up without me having to look for it. It's still there. 
and I like it when a perfume does that. It was definitely worth it uh, for that. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.